air, you would need to know about the TSA liquids rule, also known as the 311 rule. This pertains to liquids that are packed in carry on luggage. This does not pertain to checked bag luggage. So, if you're planning to travel with only like a carry on handbag, then you need to stick around and watch this video. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Jeannie. I am a travel agent in Minnesota. I invite you to subscribe and follow along for all different travel tips, advice, inspiration, and travel lifestyle. So, I'm a big component to traveling light. Um, I only travel with a carry on. With plenty of trips under my belt and dealing with airports a lot, I've really had to master this TSA rule. So, I'm going to be answering the most common questions to the TSA liquids rule and the powder rule because there are now uh, limits to the different types of uh, powders that can be brought with you on a flight. And don't worry, it's really not as hard as you may think. It's actually really easy once you understand it. But you might have a few things that pop up like, is this the right size container? Is this a liquid or is this considered a solid? So, we're going to go through all that today. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to give you a little tidbit on something that you can do to allow yourself even more liquids than you might be able to fit into a quart size bag. Okay, so what is the 311 rule? The three stands for all liquids that you plan on bringing with you in your carry on must be under 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters. So all bottles must be under 3.4 ounces or less and that's going to be for all liquids, creams, aerosols, and gels. So anything that is fits into those descriptions, that's going to fall into the 311 rule. One, that means that all of your 3.4 ounce bottles must fit into one quart sized clear bag. One, that means that all people are allowed one bag each. 3.4 ounce bottles in one quart size bag and one bag per person. So make sure that this bag is easily accessible because you will have to pull this bag out once you get to the security checkpoints and put it in the bins for scanning. If your luggage goes through the scanner and there's liquids moving around in there and you didn't pull out your little baggie, they're gonna search your bag. They are strict with the rules. Make sure everything is in your quart size bag, everything's sealed tight in your 3.4 ounce bottles and you only have one bag and you will be fine. Now, if you have items that are larger than 3.4 ounces and you have a check bag, those have to go in the check bag. So anything over 3.4 ounces must go in a check bag. You cannot bring anything through that's over 3.4 ounces. There is not a specific number of how many bottles you can put in your bag. There is no limit as long as they're in the correct size uh, bottles and you can fit as many bottles in this bag as you possibly can. But again, stick around to the end because I have a little tidbit on all this. TSA only allows one bag per person. So if there's anything that is over 3.4 ounces and or you cannot fit it in that bag, that needs to go in your check luggage. So if you're checking luggage, um, you can put any size liquids in the check luggage, but not for carry-on luggage. So if you plan on only traveling with a carry-on, you're gonna have to master this rule. Be sure to narrow down all your items, get them in the appropriate size bottles and bags, and you will be all set. TSA has now implemented a powders rule, so any powders that are under 12 ounces, um, those can go in your carry-on bag. Typically, you won't have additional screening for powders under 12 ounces. For example, powdered makeups and stuff, you won't have issues with those unless they see something funky on the screening process, of course. However, if you have more powders, such as maybe you're carrying protein powders or detergents or something that might be a larger volume than that, you can still bring that, however, they're going to have to do additional screening. So if you have any powders that are over the 12 ounces, you're going to pull it out just like you would your liquids bag. I recommend, if it's possible, keep it in its original case. If not, know that you will probably have additional screening and don't be surprised if they confiscate it and you're not going to get that back. You can definitely try, um, but it could definitely be confiscated. So if you have like protein powders or some type of baby powders and larger volumes or something, and you don't want it to be confiscated, um, then I would say put it in your check bag. They are trying to get people to bring in those larger powders into check bags. So um, again, if you're only traveling with a carry-on, you would have to worry about that more. Otherwise, just put everything in your check bag and you should be fine. 
Now there are a few items that are exempt from the liquids rule and that is medications. So any liquids that are in liquid form or paste form or gel form um, and if it's over the 3.4 ounces you can definitely take that with you. Um, however you're going to have to pull it out. I recommend again you know keeping it in its original packaging if possible and have the prescription label with you so you can prove that it is for medical reasons because TSA will have to do additional screenings on that medication. Also different ice packs or partially frozen items that are required to keep that medication cold um, that's okay as well. So those other items that are medical necessities that are kind of involved with that would be like IV bags, pumps, and like syringes. So again, yes, if it's medical, um, it can be brought through security and or over the liquids rule. But just know it will have additional screening. And if you have any type of medication that maybe isn't allowed to go through a scanner, be sure to let the TSA officer know that and they will screen it separately. The other exemption to the liquids rule is breast milk and formula. Again, these items just need to be placed separately into the bin. Um, you don't have to have your child with you to prove that this is breast milk. Um, that's not required, but um, it will have to be screened separately if you have larger amounts of breast milk or formula that are over 3.4 ounces. So on TSA's website, they have a really great search tool that's right on their website. You can go in there if there's a specific item that you're just not sure what this is really considered. Is it a solid? Is it a gel? Or what it is. However, I'm going to just go over some of the top items that I get asked about a lot. So again, be sure to go to the TSA's website directly and you can definitely search out other items that you may have questions about. All of your basic toiletry items are allowed on to your carry-on luggage. So shampoos, conditioners, mouthwash, facial cleansers, um, whatever, you know, your standard toiletry items, those are allowed. And you are also allowed to have a razor and tweezers. So again, that is, that is okay to have those in your toiletry items bag. Deodorants come in lots of different types of forms. So you got um, solids, you got the gels, and then you got aerosol deodorants. If you have solid deodorant, that does not have to go on your bag. So if you are one that uses a, like a gel-based deodorant and or an aerosol, then yes, you will have to pack it. So maybe for your travels, you should maybe think about possibly doing a solid deodorant. Um, and then you don't have to worry about fitting that and taking up space in this bag. Bar soap is not considered a liquid, so you can definitely, again, like the deodorant, you can put that in your regular luggage. It's, as long as it's in a solid form, you don't have to worry about putting that in your uh, liquids bag. Toothpaste is considered a liquid because it's more gel-like. So yes, be sure to put your toothpaste into your liquids bag. I've done it myself. I forgot to put my toothpaste in my bag. I was actually in Paris when this happened and they pulled me aside and went through all my luggage, tore it completely apart just for my little container of toothpaste. Yeah, don't make that mistake. Wet wipes, baby wipe, cleaning wipes, facial wipes, whatever type of wipes you have, um, those are not considered liquids by TSA. That can all be packed separately. You don't have to worry about putting that into your TSA bag. Yes, mascara is considered a liquid when you are traveling, so be sure to separate that out and put that in your liquids bag because it's gel-based. Um, that would apply for the liquids rule. And that also goes for any liquid foundations, um, liquid creams, um, whatever type of makeup that you have that's more liquid, gel, or paste form, that would have to be applied to the liquids rule and must go in your quart size bag. Solid chapsticks or lip balms are not considered a liquid and are not required to go in the bag. However, if you have a gel-based chapstick, such as Vaseline or there's like Carmex, I know those come in more liquid forms or gel forms, um, then yes, those would have to go into the liquid bag. Now, as I mentioned, TSA has a really great search tool. If there's an item not listed on their website that you have questions about, you are now able to ask TSA on Twitter and or on Facebook. So all you have to do is snap a photo of the item that you have a question about and send it to them on Facebook or Twitter and they will answer it for you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go over some different travel tips. I have mentioned some of these travel tips in my other video. However, I'm gonna just go over them again. First off, I'm gonna go back to toothpaste. So these are like your typical size toothpaste that you might find in the travel section area of stores, right? Now these little guys are really small. Now, you can go buy larger sizes of toothpaste. They make toothpaste that is under the 3.4 ounces that are in larger form. So you don't have to go spend a dollar on this little guy when you can go get a large one that is under 3.4 ounces and that's like maybe a dollar fifty or something. That way you'll have more toothpaste and it will last you a lot longer than those little guys. Also be sure to check um, your different bottles that you have your makeup and or hair products in because this is a standard size bottle for like this hair serum that I use and this is a exactly a 3.4 ounce bottle so I don't have to condense this so just be sure to check the ounces on all your products because sometimes you don't have to condense them down into the 3.4 ounce bottles. Now if you are like me and you like to have water, now remember you cannot bring bottled water through um, if it's over the 3.4 ounces. However, you can bring frozen, solid frozen waters through. Um, so you can keep that in mind or you can do what I do. I just bring an empty water bottle with me and once I get through security, I go to the drinking fountain and I go fill it up. Now remember when you're traveling, however, be sure that the water fountains and the water of the country is okay and safe to drink. Um, typically, I usually fill up in you know USA airports before I get on my flight. And last but not least, and my final tip I have for you guys is if these little quart size bags are just not big enough and you have a few other liquids you need to fit, do what I do. Get this TSA approved liquids bag. They are on Amazon, the best invention ever. Look how big this is compared to this bag. So you have, look how deep that is. It's clear all the way around. You can stuff, look at all the liquids in this baggie compared to this, even though I haven't filled this one up. Um, but you can get a lot more liquids and it's more room to um, stuff littler bottles in. Um, it has a zipper that goes all the way around so it's completely closed and it's clear so TSA can identify all the products that are in your bag. I have went to Asia, Europe, throughout the US. Yeah, I've never had any issues using this, so I highly recommend it. It's an awesome bag to travel with, and you can fit so many more liquids in it. I have the link below down in the description. You can definitely go check it out. They have lots of different colors of these TSA bags, so, um, Highly recommend, be sure to check that out. There you have it you guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope this gets you ready and prepared for your next vacation. If you have any other questions, be sure to comment below, I am happy to help you. And of course, be sure to go over to tsa.gov and check out all the information that they have on their website. Lots of great ways to search for items that you may have questions about. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. So with that said, we will see you guys next time. Bye guys.